Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Suge Avery, and you are tuned into the I'm Just Bougie show. <laughs> we just oh so bougie over here. <laughs> All right. If this is your first time to my channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We love comments over here. We just want to build a community. Um, difference of opinion doesn't bother us, so let's get to it. Today's show should be fire. Um, I'm going to bring you probably some daily topics, some daily things that are on my brain, but just, just know I'm just going to bring it to you. <laughs> Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we just keep it bougie over here. Hey, what's up, y'all? I know it's been a few days since I've made a video, so I'm back. <laughs> Got my lip gloss. <laughs> Can't leave home without it, you know? <laughs> just one of those girls. All right, so I wanted to get into my video today and I just wanted to talk some just like, you know, I was on the phone with my brother earlier and what I decided while I'm waiting for uh, my laptop is that I wanted to give you like 10, 15 minute videos a day that I can make from my phone, right? <laughs> so I pay for this expensive ass phone, make it work. So, and also, it also will help me train to be concise and delivering a message in a time constraint. So like I said, 10, 15 minute videos, this is what we're going for until we get all set and you know, I'm able to do what I can do with, with my laptop. Anyway, so I was online today and shout out to Mob Radio. She does such a great job. Um, and so many other people do such a great job. Like Funky Doniva was on point today for, for me, but Jovi Beauty, like I, I'm not gonna, Shout out to everybody, y'all doing y'all thing. But I was online today and Millie had retweeted something. And you know, like, I'm not someone who watches my timelines that much. So for me, it's like when I do go there and see things, I'm like, oh, my soul connects. It connects. I feel this. <laughs> and usually, you know, sometimes it like I can see something. I can relate it to myself or I may relate it to somebody or something that I know of. But I relate it and I'll, I'll share it. That's what I think we all do. That's nothing like different for anybody else so anyway so i'm online and she had retweeted something and i said word to my daddy how do you get here <laughs> let's talk about it she had made this, uh, she had made this retweet and I seen it, word to my daddy. And then it was retweeting it saying, them, at the end of the day, that's still our family. And if you don't know what that means, and being African-American, I mean African-American, like family from down south, all that shit. Like if you African-American, you've heard that. But I just think that maybe is something that probably everybody say, right? But we'll claim this one. At the end of the day, that's still your family, right? So... If you are black and you've heard your mama say, you heard your grandma say, you, you even hear your, 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 even your cousins. If I say this saying, but sometimes when is enough enough, right? And you start to think and the people who are saying it to you <laughs> are the same people who are causing you pain or causing you problems or causing you harm. They'll have that knee jerk reaction that, oh, at the end of the day, that's still your family. <laughs> and it's like, well... You don't need to remind me of what this bond is supposed to be or what this relationship is supposed to be at the end of the day. If you remember that we were family, you shouldn't have did what you did. So how the hell do you look like turning around and reminding me of what our bond should be? That to me is great A manipulation at the end of the day. I think sometimes people just think that they have a license to do whatever they want depending on what that bond is. And more, it's definitely we all know family are gonna do you the worst sometimes and do the most to you. But this is talking about like, when is enough is enough? And should you be guilted into feeling like enough is not enough? You know what I'm saying? But we all get to that point where like, come on now, get the fuck out of here. For real, like you really want me to turn my eye or turn my back or turn my cheek to some bullshit like this? Listen, I am the queen. Of loving you from a distance. <laughs> I am a queen of saying that this doesn't serve me. This doesn't make me feel good. This person's not being considerate of me. And I don't care what binds us. I don't care if it's family. I don't care if it's a 20-year relationship. I get distant and I get gone 
when I know I'm not being treated the way I want to be treated. And that's across the board. And I tell people to, to do the same thing for themselves. Do the same things not because you don't love the people in your family or love the people in your life, but you just love yourself to the point where you're just like, nah. <laughs> At some point, if I allow you to even stay around, it's me. I'm doing it to myself, right? Because you're consistently being who you are and now I have to show up. You know what I'm saying? And protect me. And that's the most important thing. You do have to realize that you and how you deal with people is how you protect yourself. And, you know, you can't make, let anybody make you feel guilty for that or make you feel like as if though you're not doing the right thing. Self-preservation has always been the key. We we see it all the time. People usually do what's best for them or in their best interest. And, um, you know, it, they don't really sometimes take an account on how that makes someone feel or how did that affects somebody in their life, right? It's so, you know, you know, it's so selfish, right? But we're not talking about the selfish protection of yourself. We're talking about the protection of yourself um, from harm, right? And I think sometimes people were into meaning of that to try to make it seem like it's the same thing. There is the there's being selfish, um, there's being um, self absorbed, but uh, but then there's this also that other same behavior or same response, but for two different reasons. And I think people forget that sometimes you can be selfish um, if it means uh, you know protecting yourself again from people. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. And no one should ever make you feel like there is. <laughs> um, so I'm on a phone with my brother, right? So we were talking and he was talking and we were talking about family. And we were just talking about just different examples and different things that people do to you. And we all, you know, we all had our cousin Junebug. And Junebug, um, he paints, he, you know, he he's a carpenter. He does it all. And, you know, family, look out for family. You gonna call Junebug, be like, Junebug, can you can you come over and paint this on me? Blah, 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 blah. You know how it go. You gonna pay him less than, you know, you pay somebody, you know. But that's just what we do. <laughs> Junebug ain't licensed. <laughs> Junebug ain't went to, went to school for shit. So, you know, y'all know how we do. Anyway, you hire Junebug one or two times. Junebug do the jobs and whatever, whatever. And you always see that the jobs are not done the way you want or Junebug done, took his time doing that shit. And you get what I'm saying? And, you know, he's just like, you know, don't care. It's family. You know what I'm saying? That's family. You know, <laughs> that's still your family at the end of the day. It ain't nothing worse than somebody knowing that you still their family at the end of the motherfucking day. <laughs> There's nothing worse. Anyway, so you give Junebug two or three damn jobs. Two or three damn jobs. And about the fourth time that you need something done around the house and you actually want it done the right way, you find somebody else to do this job. Now, you know how families are or word of mouth or the accidental slip. Somebody might not know, but it makes its way back to motherfucking Junebug. <laughs> and Junebug feels some sort of way. You know how that is. Junebug feels some sort of way. Like, what you mean? Because you can't look out. Let me tell you something. There are people in your life that will feel that because of that association, that you have to keep coming back and getting more and more <laughs> and more of the bullshit, right? You say to Junebug, you like Junebug, dog. I've been calling you for like two or three jobs. You taking mad long. I ain't never seen no two hour lunch breaks, Junebug. It's like, you, you know, you sitting on my couches. You just lounging. Like, it's like you visiting, visiting. And you supposed to be working, working. So, you know, Junebug was like, cuz, what you mean? I still get it done. I still get it done, cuz. <laughs> And you sitting there and you just tired. You tired of this exchange. You tired of going through this. Like, how you gonna let somebody else do it? At least, you know, you know, you go through what you go through with me. You know what I mean? I may not always do it right for you, cuz. But at least I ain't hitting you over the head like them over there. They robbing you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. They did it fast and it, but they still robbing you. I could have did it for less. Junebug ain't listen to nothing you just said about customer service. Junebug then like, because it still applies to you, Junebug, because that's my money we talk about. <laughs> it still a fucking applies to you, Junebug. And then Junebug don't want to hear nothing about professionalism. Mm -mm. What? What is professionalism? We are family. We grew up together. What you mean? I'm still your family. <laughs> 
all this to say that at the end of the day, someone like a June bug never sees the part they play in why you don't want to go back down that road no more, right? For them, it's like, we family, that's above everything. That's above you, you know, you being happy. That's above everything else. I'm telling you right now, we ain't here for that shit. And there's nothing wrong with cutting people off. I do it all the time. There's nothing wrong with it. And like I said, people are so selfish to the point um, they can't see past themselves. And rarely do people say or stop in the midst of doing whatever they want to to be like, how does this make that person feel? And you have to be your biggest advocate to be that person. Like, I, I don't feel that. I don't, I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling that. There's no going with the flow when it don't feel good. <laughs> All right, y'all. So like I said, 10, 15 minute videos a day till we get our, my laptop up and running. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you feel. Like, you know, I want to know, like, what was the final straw? What was the camel's back that made you realize that it's okay to sometimes cut people off? You know what I mean? Um, it doesn't have to just be family, friends. You know, sometimes we get so committed to relationships with people that the quality of the relationship, um, where the, uh, the period of time of the relationship will outweigh the quality of the relationship and I just don't let that happen um you know not to say that I'm, I don't have it all figured out please <laughs> but that's not to say that you know I haven't been in situations where I've let someone do something once and maybe even let them do something twice but you know it's really 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 <laughs> getting in tune with self and you know don't go against your instincts. Don't go against your gut. You don't have to go with the flow to get along with people. Um, you don't have to just believe something because someone tells you. If it doesn't make sense, it just doesn't make sense, you know? Um, you know, and just, you know, taking stuff like that. And we've all been in situations where we've, we've did that way too long with people. You know, I have a thing, well, you know, if I've expressed and, you know, how I feel about something and you do something again, I have all, I feel like I have... All the rights in the world to cut you off you know what i mean so um you don't have to help people grow up by you don't have to be a part of people's process in them growing up that's what i want to say and i think sometimes we think we have to we just don't and like you could be like oh i'm gonna sit this one out right once you get that back together holla at your girl holla at sugar Avery. <laughs> once you get that together but no time no sooner and i don't even want to be a part of the process because it hurts <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with saying that that i'm about this one out and after you know and I, I have time friends for certain things certain ages certain shit don't make sense and i don't care how you were raised and if it was wolves that raised you some shit don't make sense after a certain age because once you start to see better um, and I don't care if it's just watching damn TV. Once you start to see better, you know better. Once you start to know what doesn't feel good to you or, you know, you don't like what someone do to you, then I know you know what you shouldn't be doing. You see how that works? Because you know you wouldn't like it. Anyway, I want to thank y'all. I'm going to get off of here. Like I said, 10, 15 minutes and I'm at 12 minutes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, y'all be blessed. Y'all be black. And... We in share. You are tuning to Shook Avery again. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, tell me what you think. What, what was what was you what 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 was it for you that realized that you felt like okay, me above it all. <laughs> it has to be me above it all. All right, y'all be blessed. And um, like I said, you know, keep that lip gloss. You know, keep it popping. <laughs>